my research has focused primarily on the effects of chronic disease and treatments on bone tissue quality and mechanics. One of the most exciting parts of the MD-PhD program is being able to navigate between the engineering and the clinic and then finding ways to merge them together. So my main research mentor is an expert in biomechanics and then Dr. Mo is one of my clinical mentors who is expert in nephrology and chronic kidney disease, mineral and bone disorder. One of the things that happens to people with kidney disease is they have a much higher risk of breaking their bones. So unlike traditional osteoporosis that everyone has heard about with people falling and breaking their hip, patients who have kidney disease actually get uh, breakage in a different compartment of bones. So they break in what's called the cortex, which is the outer part of bone versus the inner part of bone, which is more cancellous or trabecular bone. And what's interesting is that means that there is something biologically different about the two compartments. What JD is doing is actually focusing in on some of the nuances of the biomechanics that affect that outer compartment of bone. Part of that relationship involves mentoring meetings that we have roughly every month, and those are a great opportunity to bring together the engineering and mechanics that we're doing in the laboratory and to see how those clinical endpoints are changing, to hear about what goes on in the clinic. I believe very strongly in mentoring. I have mentored many, many people over the years, and it actually is, I would say, the favorite part of my job. Smart people that come in, like JD, often raise questions that you go, oh, I should have thought of that because they come in with a fresh idea. And I also do a lot of work with people at Purdue, both in the food and nutrition, as well as the bioengineering and in the diabetes center, because coming at it from an analytical approach, engineering or a strict nutrition approach, is different than maybe the way that we deal with it in the medical school. And that collaboration with different disciplines, I think just improves science 100%. As a physician scientist, I think I would definitely want to maintain a foot in both the clinic and the research. From what I've experienced so far, research advancements should be based on clinical observations and findings in order to guide impactful research. And I also think that those findings should be translated back into the clinic and used to guide either um, future therapies or our general patient practice. And so being at the intersection between those two worlds, I think will allow for stronger advancements to be made and to help research tackle the important questions and to really try to make a difference.